Okay guys, welcome to Kingfisher's uh, bait clinic once again. I'm doing the Blu-ray trace using J-hooks. Okay, so there's my trace. And again, it's 40 centimeters of nylon. Chocker hammer, a bait buddy chocker hammer, a kingfisher, either the thin or the medium latex cotton, and a little bit of packing foam. It's got no real what's name to it, but it holds the bait on nicely. So it doesn't float your bait up, it just holds the bait on. Okay, so all we're gonna do with that is just cut a small little slither of it. And that I'm gonna cut again at an angle. Let's just take it to the side so you can see. So that's pretty much what the foam looks like. And I'm just gonna cut it at a slight angle like that. And what we do is we actually try and push out all the air bubbles so that there's very little air bubbles actually in it. And again, it's more just to hold the bait on. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my glasses on quickly. Take my latex cotton, Kingfisher latex cotton that I've got here. Stick that on top. Tight on, that's all we do. There we go, you can see, all I'm doing is just tying it on. Nothing fancy about it, I'm just taking the air out. Because I don't want the bait to float up. That's the reason behind it. So that it doesn't float up, it actually just holds. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there. Okay, so there we go guys, that's all I've done. It's just light packing foam, I've taken out all the bubbles. It's just there to hold the bait on. Now one thing about a Blu-ray is, you like sitting in the indent, so when you're targeting it, you throw onto a bank and just let your sinker roll down or off, or look for those little indents. That's where the Blu-ray is gonna be sitting. Very important, they sit in those little indents waiting for the food to come to them. Um, Another thing about Blu-rays is they've got very small mouths. So don't make your bait huge. They don't like hard baits, so make it as soft as possible. The softer you can make it, the smellier you can make it, and the smaller you can keep it, the better it actually is. Okay, so what I've got here is a red-eye sardine. They love sardine. Your head has all the blood in it, your stomach's got a lot of smell in it, and the body's got a lot of um, flavor. So to cut it, again let me just sort this out, I'm just going to cut the head off like that. Like I said the stomach has got a lot of smell in it so we cut the stomach down like that and then we cut a couple of small thin thin slithers that we're going to use as wrapping. There we go, thin Thin. Okay, we just take out anything that might be a bit hard, like in, for instance the, the fins and that, we don't want anything that's very hard. Uh, they like a soft bait like I said. Okay, so here's the head, it's got a lot of smell, a lot of flavour in it. We just open it up, take out the gills, the gill plates should I say, because the gill plates again are very very hard. We take out any of the fins that there might be. Because again, it's all hard stuff which we don't want to use. The nose part is very, very hard here as well. So we take that out by cutting down just in front of the eyes. Take that out. Open it up to expose as much of the head as possible. Chock a hammer. And we're going to hit it quite lightly. And anything that's hard, we're going to try and take out. So we're trying to soften this bait up as much as possible. And remember, it works best when your bait is still semi-hard. Okay, so when doing this bait, do it when it's semi-hard. When it's soft, uh, or you lose all the blood and smell, and that and it actually comes out a lot, a lot quicker, it disperses a lot quicker. So there we go. As you can see, all I've done is just softened it up. I'm gonna wrap it around. 
take my Kingfisher latex cotton, either the thin or the medium, again, like I always say, and we're going to tie it up. We're going to put a lot of cotton around this bait. There we go. Just to keep it in place. And we work very, very quickly so we don't lose all the, the blood as it defrosts. There's the stomach part. I'm going to cut it open. There we go. And again, skin side down, chocker hammer, and we just soften it up. And we're going to stick that on. Over the top there. Skin side facing inwards, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. And you can see already it's starting to defrost very, very quickly. Then we're going to take our thin little slithers and just lightly beat, not too hard, just lightly soften it up. Okay. Now what this does is traps all the actual flavor blood still inside the actual bait. So there we go. Quick. Couple of wrappings around there. And again on this side, just quickly try and trap as much of that blood and smell in as we can. And on top. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And we just finish it off quickly. We then take our scallum hook and insert it on the back part here. So there we go where the nylon goes in. Slide it down, out and around. So there's our scallum hook. And Look for that indent in the water, and it's normally the calmer water that you're looking for next to a big sandbank or where there are two sandbanks in that. There we go, guys. There's our bait ready for a Blu-ray using J-hooks.